Hey everyone, it's Savannah and welcome or welcome back to my day old tea. If you're feeling burnt out or uninspired to design an Animal Crossing, we're gonna get into some quick and easy tips you can use to elevate your island design. But first, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future post updates. All right, now let's go ahead and get started with some design tips. Hopefully these will help you elevate your island. If you're feeling burnt out or unsure of ways you can step up your design. I don't know what it is, but anytime there is something designed in Animal Crossing on a diagonal, we all go nuts. I don't know why, but we love it. So try it out. You can do a diagonal gardens, crops, flower fields, roads, villager home placements. The ideas are endless and making things on a diagonal just adds so much depth to your island. You can really create a unique space. So definitely try it out. Another thing that you should definitely be doing if you wanna step up your island design is using multiple growth stages of different kind of trees. The variation in height adds for such a interesting design. It really is helpful for filling up an entire space. You can stunt any tree by planting any fruit that is not a coconut right next to the tree that you wanna stunt. You can even stunt two trees with one fruit. Have you considered switching the items backwards? Some of the items actually look cuter turned around than the way that Nintendo intended us to place them. So get creative, try this out with different items, see what you come up with. It also looks nice to have a cluster of items with some turned around. Items placed naturally and scattered about really makes your island feel lived in and authentic. Okay, my next design tip is to add anything with movement. So the windmill, bubble machines, wind flower fans, all of these items create movement and visual interest to your design. So you should definitely be adding them. It also makes roaming around your island so much more fun. My next tip for something that will help elevate your island is to create natural winding paths. This makes exploring your island so much more enjoyable in my opinion. Well, I personally prefer to make my paths quite windy and curvy whenever possible. However, for themes like city core, this might not be appropriate. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. I intended to provide some inspiration. If you're feeling a little bit burnt out, maybe these are some new design ideas that you haven't yet tried incorporating on your island. And these are things that I think will really step up an island and bring it to the next level design-wise. So I hope you guys have fun trying these design ideas out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.